Today's introduction is the latest domestic nonlinear junction detector, which can detect hidden electronic products such as eavesdropping and monitoring, bomb initiation device, and so on. It is a necessary equipment for public security technical investigation, armed police security inspection, explosive discharge, confidentiality, and a fiscal environment security inspection. Its biggest advantage is that it can be detected whether the hidden electronic products are turned out or not. The product comprises a nonlinear junction detector, a headset, a standby battery, a charger, a power adapter, and a test sample. The nonlinear junction detector is mainly composed of a detection unit, a control handle unit, and a battery tank. The detection unit is primarily used for nonlinear detection. The control handle unit is mainly used for system parameter setting, while the battery tank is used to supply power to the device. The equipment displays the signal strength of transmitting, second harmonic receiving, and third harmonic receiving. It also prompts three detection states: detecting electronic products, metallic oxide. The central control unit comprises a power key, a central control display screen. A manual key, a searchlight key, four direction keys, and OK key. The power key, which is used to power on and off the machine, must be pressed and held for three seconds. The searchlight is used to illuminate the environment in front of the head end in the dark environment to help the operator aim at the detected area. The central control display screen mainly displays the system information and parameters of the device. Press the menu key to directly enter or exit the system configuration interface. Parameter setting refers to setting the working parameters of the device, including transmitting power setting, transmitting frequency setting, and receive gain setting. Transmitting power setting refers to adjusting the current transmitting power of the device in two modes, including the manual mode and automatic mode. The transmitting power can be adjusted manually through the direction keys. In the automatic selection mode, the equipment automatically selects the appropriate transmission power according to the actual distance from the measuring object to ensure the best detection result. In the central control interface, the transmitting power can be quickly adjusted by pressing the upper and lower navigation keys. The transmitting frequency can be adjusted manually from 2,404 megahertz to 2,472 megahertz. Receive gain is used to adjust the receiving sensitivity of the device, including three levels: high, medium, and low. When the detection distance is long, it is recommended to use high gain mode. When the distance is close, it is recommended to adopt low gain mode to prevent false alarm. Alarm setting refers to adjusting the alarm volume, alarm threshold, vibration mode, and sound mode of the device. The alarm volume can be adjusted through the direction navigation key on the central control interface. In the central control interface, the operator can directly set alarm volume by pressing the left and right keys. The alarm threshold can be manually set the component threshold of the second harmonic and third harmonic. When this threshold is reached, an alarm will be given. The vibration switch and vibration intensity can be set in the vibration mode. The alarm mode of the device is set in the sound mode, divided into normal mode, headset mode, and off mode. System setting is used to operate the system information of the product, including date, time, product information, and a factory reset. Specifically. The product information is used to view and display the version information, barcode, and dates of manufacture. Factory reset means restoring the system information of the device to factory default settings. Language setting means selecting a display language between Chinese and English.